So right now I'm just waiting for the iPhone 15 Pro Max to be delivered. I did pick up the black titanium color. I was going to go for the blue, but I just kind of chickened out last minute because black kind of is a safe option, goes with everything. And I'm not a fan of the lighter colors. I know the natural titanium color was really popular this year, but it's just not really my sort of thing. So uh, yeah. One thing I am super excited for is the new 5x optical zoom because you now have f2.8. That's a pretty big deal on the telephoto lens because you're able to get more light in. You're also able to have a faster shutter speed so less motion blur. And overall it's going to be a little bit better than what Samsung has to offer in terms of aperture which is f4.9 I believe which is, which is not that great honestly. So I'm really excited to see a uh, low aperture on a telephoto on a smartphone. That's one of the main things that I'm actually super hyped to test out. The phone arrived pretty early in the morning, which was great because last year it came at like 9 p.m. at night. So this year I have more time with the phone on the first day. So let's unbox it. There's always such a nice feeling about just unboxing an iPhone for the first time, but you do get your quick start guide, some Apple stickers. Now for the best part. Isn't that just the most satisfying thing? I'm really excited they finally brought USB-C to the iPhone because I can now plug in my SSD, my microphone, even my Canon R6 directly into the iPhone, which just is so convenient. This thing looks so beautiful in the hand, it's never going to quite look as clean, especially between those lenses, but it does look damn good. And here it is, just side by side with last year's iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I actually really did like the glossy edges there, but I like the fact that they're less fingerprinty and less sharp this year. This was definitely the smoothest setup I've ever experienced. I did hear about bugs in various news articles about phones crashing during the direct transfer, but for me, it pushed out an update, transferred all my data across within the hour, and I was good to go. I had absolutely everything transferred onto the new iPhone, including my Apple Watch, and normally that is a pain, honestly. One of the new features on the Pro model is this new action button, so it's basically replacing the mute switch and you can assign various quick actions. I was a little bit disappointed because I thought a single click would mute and then long hold would do the action, but actually you can only assign one action, which is a long hold. This iPhone definitely looks a lot like last year's, but when you hold this thing in your hand, it feels so different. It's so much lighter, so much more rounded and less sharp, and obviously you have those reduced bezels as well. It was super kind of Mojo to send me out one of their leather series cases. This is the burgundy case and it has kind of a brownie ready tone. I really like the leather look because it's going to patina over time and obviously Apple don't make a leather case anymore. So, you know, if you're looking for leather cases, Mojo is where it's at. I'll leave all the links down below, but super premium. You have metal buttons, metal frame around the camera cutout and overall it just feels solid and super luxurious. So now I made my way to the nearest Apple store, which is in the Trafford Center in Manchester. This entire thing was filmed on the iPhone, so the wide shot as well as the standard shot right here. This is the five times optical zoom while videoing, and I can say it definitely is welcomed. It's super nice quality. It's gonna be great at concerts and anywhere where you, you wanna zoom in and get closer to the action. So again, this is just the standard 4K30 shot right here inside the Dyson store. I checked out these Dyson air purifying headphones. They are absolutely massive on my head. Then I went to the Apple store to check out some of the other models as well as colors. The natural titanium color is interesting. It's pretty nice, but it's just not my sort of thing. I did also have a look at the fine woven cases. Again, they're kind of nice. The color is nice, but I'm just not a huge fan. I don't feel like they'll handle well over time. Something so interesting to me is that the standard iPhone 15 in black really looks like a pro model from last year. And some of you may have seen the controversy, but this is the blue iPhone. Definitely looks white. There is a little bit of a hint of blue, but mostly white. So now here's just the same picture from all lenses, so 
wide, standard, two times zoom. Then we have our telephoto, which is the new lens, five times zoom. And then this is 25 times digital crop. So now here's the same thing, but just in a more low light situation. So as you can see, a little bit more grainy, a little bit more noise, but I think it still handles the overall five times zoom pretty well. There's a lot of grain when you do jump into the 25 times. The iPhone 15 Pro Max shoots 24 megapixel images out the box, so here it is side by side with the bumped up 48 megapixel mode enabled. Comparing this phone directly to last year's model, I can say there's less of a green haze. The color science has definitely improved. There's also a tiny bit more clarity as well as depth. And I can say they've definitely fixed the dynamic range problem. The blacks are very black, very crunched down. I kind of like the overall look of the new iPhone. I would say the colors are just very well balanced, especially this shot right here, just a little bit sharper than last year's. So I've had a really productive day with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I got a little bit of a chance to just try out the new camera features, see the overall performance. I did use the action button a few times, but I'm still used to the mute switch being there. So I'm not used to actually, you know, pressing there often because I normally just leave my phone on mute. So that'll be a little bit of adjustments, but uh, yeah, really liking the five times optical zoom lens on the back here. And I really love the new feature where you can record log footage directly inside the native camera app. That's pretty cool for someone who's creating content for social media like Reels. I love color grading the footage, so now I'll be able to, you know, step up my game a little bit further and actually get log footage straight from the iPhone. So that's really, really cool. Earlier today, I actually went into the Apple store, checked out some of the new cases, including the fine woven as well as the silicone cases. And honestly, they're okay, but I just don't like the colors, honestly. I really do like this burgundy leather colored case, but uh, I just don't like the material of the fine woven and I don't like the colors on the silicone cases. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be experimenting a lot this year with third party cases for sure, but uh, really I'm liking the overall feel in the hand of this new iPhone. The rounded edges on the side here make it a lot more comfortable to hold. It's also a lot lighter. And uh, yeah, just a little bit more refined than last year. Nothing big, it's it's definitely like an S kind of upgrade, but uh, the titanium is definitely nice. Does kind of mark a little bit. There's been some some news articles about how the color changes if you hold it because of like your, your grease and temperature in your hand on the titanium. But uh, yeah, overall so far so good. I'm gonna have to test out the new A17 Pro. I really do wanna see the new ray tracing. I don't really play games that much, but I'll have to dive into the whole uh, smartphone gaming uh, thing in order to just, you know, try out the, the true raw performance of this chip. But I did run a Geekbench score and it is pretty good. I'll put it on the screen here. It's almost comparable to the M1, which is pretty insane. I mean, a three nanometer chip in a phone is kind of crazy, honestly. So uh, yeah, I'm just so, so excited to do more testing, to do my day in the life video to do a lot uh, with this phone right here and also compare it with last year's, compare it with the Pixel, maybe even the S23 Ultra. So uh, yeah, you'll just have to stick around. If you guys wanna subscribe down below, that would be much appreciated. And yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you later, peace.